you take the glasses off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the bright lights in Blacksburg and Blackberry local, so don't worry. Um, this one, I know this was a long process, a tough process, but you eventually chose to stay in state and go to Virginia Tech. What led you, what, what led you to that decision? Um, I just want to say, uh, probably coach staff is really good into them, uh, for one, but you know, just wanted to stay home and play ball. And locally, uh, that was big for me. Um, not many people know, but recently I, I had other dreams of going, you know, out of state and playing football. Um, but, you know, the coaching staff, I'm so comfortable with Coach Pryor and Coach Tita. Um, you know, my relationship with them um, since February has been awesome. So uh, it was kind of an event for me. What is it about Coach Pryor? A lot of the other guys in this area that have committed to Tech have said the same thing. You know, something about the vibe with Coach Pryor. What is that vibe that he gives you that says, you know what, I think this will work out? Yeah, he's a straightforward man, um, you know, but his energy, um, he's a defensive minded coach for one, so uh, that's always a plus for a defensive player. But uh, he, his energy on the field and off the field, uh, he's one of the heck of a man, and uh, I can respect him, you know, on and off the field. So uh, my relationship with him has just been awesome, and I'm glad to continue for more, more years to come. So. You made the decision official today, but when did you actually? make the decision to go to Virginia um, Tech? I'd say about a month ago, uh, really. But, you know, Virginia Tech, you know, I always had my heart. My friend was in it. I was just there offering me. Uh, they were one of my first five foul offers. Mm -hmm. um, so they just always been in my heart. And, um, you know, I thought uh, my heart was leaving me to other places. And, you know, instead, um, y'all had a plan for me. And I just had to be patient with it. So, um, yeah. What did he say about playing time as far as coming there immediately and getting an opportunity to possibly either see playing time or actually start? Um, so with me, I'm just, you know, my physique, my body, I'm already kind of college ready. So um, he expected me to, you know, come in and make an impact in the secondary, hopefully. So uh, that's the plan right now. I'm ready to, um, to work on the that way. So um, that's the plan. How big is it to uh, make this official before the start of the season, before the start of your senior year, yeah. and not having to deal with that distraction as you guys look to repeat? It was very big for me. Um, you know, I kind of made that decision even before I got all the offers that I had. Um, you know, because I didn't really want that much stress going you know, to, to the season. So, um, you know, um, for me, I felt like, you know, committing early and before the season would be a lot of stress and be my team, you know, us back together and go back for a back to back time this year. I joke with Coach Mankins about, you know, no pressure with all this talent about going back to back. It has, it, how much has that been talked about amongst the guys, you know, after you either thought about committing or have committed, like, hey, you know, now our focus is to do this a second time? Um, it's been talked about every day. Coach Megan, he takes pride in his guys. Um, we work hard here uh, as a team, as a unit. But um, he takes pride in what we do here day in and day out. So um, it was just big. It was really big for us going into the season. Um, just making sure everything, the you know, pace is uh, slowed down before we ride into the season. Because this season will really be mental. So um, that's pretty much it. Cam, Coach Mickens has talked about how supportive this group is of each other. What has what have those guys in the stands meant to you throughout your journey? Uh, those guys are my brothers. Uh, you know, I talk to them literally every day, even if we're not playing football. So um, we connect on a different level. Um, you know, like I call them my brothers, I really call them my friends. So uh, we connect in a special way, and uh, I'm just glad to call them my brothers.